Hello, biology friends. Quick lecture today on classification. You should have this under your belt already because you've done it the last couple of days. So just a brief overview before your quick quiz tomorrow on classification. Let's go. So what is classification? It's a way to give a common name to living organisms so that everybody all over the world will know what they're talking about and they can all refer to them by the same name. Won't be confusing. So who came up with this? We talked about Aristotle in your questions yesterday, but the man who came up with the actual two-part name, the binomial nomenclature system in Latin is Carolus Linnaeus. Looks like a great, exciting guy, right? Way back in the 1700s. And he said, organisms need to have a common name in one common language because then everybody will be able to refer to them in the same exact way and know exactly what they're talking about. So he came up with the genus species name. And what we're most familiar with, with that, is Homo sapiens. So that is us, obviously. Homo is the genus name, species. Uh, sapiens is the species name. And that means wise human or wise man. So the genus is a bigger classification system than the species name. So remember back when we did evolution, we had Homo erectus, um, Homo sapiens, Homo habilis. All those names were the same genus, but then different species. So the genus is a larger classification than the species name. So bigger than that, we actually start way at the domain level and then kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species is the most specific name in that classification. So for example, a leopard, a lion, and a tiger all belong to the same genus, Panthera. But the species of each one of those is different. So obviously a leopard and a lion are not the same. And so Partera pardus is a leopard, Partera leo is an African lion, and Partera tig tigris or tigris is a tiger. We start from the very tippy top when we're classifying this particular organism right here, a panther, his domain is Eukarya, and you looked at that um, yesterday with your questions. So the kingdoms are Eukarya, Archaebacteria, and Eubacteria, right? So there are only three domains, and then there are several kingdoms, several phyla, several classes, orders. There are more and more and more classifications the further down this system you get. So the domain name for this guy right here is Eukarya. His kingdom is Animalia. His phylum is Chordata. His class is Manimalia. His order is Carnivora. His family is Philidae. His genus is Panthera. And his species is Pardus. So his official scientific name is Panthera Pardus. But if you want to throw all of this in there, then that is his completely scientific name, his full name. Three domains. Eukarya. Archaebacteria and eubacteria, or just bacteria. So why did we come up with this new system? Because we didn't have domains when I was in high school. I didn't learn about that. So they came up with that when scientists figured out this DNA thing. When we looked at relationships and the DNA classifications, it became evident that we needed to come up with a new system um, other than just our six kingdoms that we used to have. All right. So in the order carnivora, we have lots of carnivores here, right? So each one of these organisms is in fact a carnivore. So this leopard, this panther is a carnivore. Skunks are carnivores, I don't know if you knew that, they eat meat. Same with otters, same with a domestic dog, and same with the wild wolf. They are all true carnivores. Their families, you have a little bit of a difference here. These are the um, Canidae family, the Mastilidae family, and the Philidae family. So kind of the cat family, the dog family, and this family right here. And then they separate further down into the different genus, Canis, Lutra, Nephitis, Panthera, 
and the different species. So why don't we use common names? Well, obviously, we have different languages, right? Also, if you use the name starfish, which we use all the time, that doesn't really tell you what it is because it's not a fish at all, right? Same as the dragonfly, it's obviously not a dragon, nor is it a fly. And so these are very misleading names. This guy right here, he's called several different things. He's called a blue jay. He's called a blue coat. He's called a corn thief. And in different languages, our friend the dog is a dog in English, perro in Spanish, and chien in French. So we need that scientific name. In all languages, this would be called a possessor or praeceus, right? Because it's Latin. That's a common name. And that's it, my friends. Six minutes, classification, quick quiz tomorrow. Have a great day.